Hey guys, Charlotte here from Damson. This week, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. We're gonna be kicking off our admin panel series with this quick tip from Mark, our technical engineer, on how to add a user to the Google admin panel. So if you're an admin and you'd be interested in this, you know what to do. Stay tuned. Okay, so to add a user in the Google Admin Console, you can do so here from the home page. You can go to either here, users, add a user, or you can go here from the left hand side, click on users. If you want to add a new user, you click on the blue writing add new user up here. We need to enter a first name, a last name, um, the primary email can be whatever you want as long as it doesn't already exist. Um, to change the domain, you can do so here. If you have multiple domains, you can do so here from the right hand side and change it to demo at Damson Cloud. The secondary email is going to be uh, an address that's off the domain. It's going to be something outside demo.demscloud.com or gc.demscloud.com. So, phone number is not important for the moment. Um, while you're adding a user, you can select what organizational unit they will go to. So, I'm going to select end users here. So when I create this user, he's going to go into end users. Um, you can choose to automatically generate a password or you can manually create a password. So I'm going to leave it automatically generate a password. So it will automatically create a password eight characters long, which is the minimum on Google. You can also, as you can see here, upload a profile photo while you're creating the user. This can also be done later on after the user is already created. So I'm going to add to me, add a new user there. So the user is now created. You can actually send the sign-in instructions through here. Uh, you can see it's auto-filled in. This is what the email will look like. Um, there's a subject line, the username, the password. They won't see the password. All they will see is a sign-in button here. So you click on send, it will send the email, and the login info will be sent directly to that address. Click done. You can also view the password here, you can copy it, and then you can click done. And now you'll see a user appear here in the users list.